Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's work on the problem 50 at chapter 4. In this one, we can still consider this is a very typical problem in Newton's signal law. And then it uh, tells you the force, how the force acts and asks you the motion, right? So in this one, we can see first thing we have the, this system. And then we consider horizontal as x component, vertical as y component. So it looks like we need to project the tension of this uh, force. So there must be gravity and the tension act on this object. So we project the tension in S component and Y component. So this one is Ft sine theta, Ft cosine theta. So how can I decide which one is sine theta, which one is cosine theta? This angle is theta, the problem tell you. So this angle must also be theta because this is, uh, right, this is two angles. And so these two angles, this one is must the same with this one. So this is also theta. And then you can say this is F, this is theta. So this side must be cosine theta and this side sine theta. Agree? Now we write Newton's second law in two components. First thing on the Y component. On the Y component, the object it never move. It is stationary, so the acceleration is zero. So net force equals the zero. So Ft cosine theta minus the gravity mg equals zero. And then we look at the S component, it is Ft sine theta equals mass times acceleration. In this one, very easily we can get the acceleration equals g tangent theta. And so in this one, we can see, uh, we find the acceleration, the, the function with the acceleration with angle theta. See, the problems, ask you to find angle theta. So it looks like if we know acceleration, we can find the angle theta very easily, agree? So is, is there any way to find acceleration? Sure, because the problem tells us the motion of this object. See the initial, it is stationary, finally the velocity is 28 meter per second in the time t equal to six second. It's easy for us to find acceleration. Acceleration equals a change of the velocity divided by time t. See, in this one, you can find acceleration, and then in you input this acceleration in this equation, you can get angle theta. Then everything is done. See, this is how we do that. So first of all, you need to decide acceleration in x component. This is as we talk about. And then you do force analysis. You find the equ equation, the acceleration with angle theta, and you know the acceleration, then you can find the angle theta by using this one, theta is arctangent, acceleration divided by g. Thank you.